I did some things I regret. Your nigga came from the trench. That's why I sip on him up. I did some things I regret. Riding around with that tag. I did some things I regret. Alright, guys, quick tutorial here. So, to do this distort effect that Lyric Lemonade usually does, you need to have the Sapphire plugins. It doesn't matter if you have After Effects, because you need the Sapphire plugins for After Effects too. So I recommend you going to YouTube and looking up how to get Sapphire after Sapphire plugins for Sony Vegas, or else you can, won't be able to do it. Okay, so after you've done that, the effect we'll be using is called Emboss. So it's E M B O S S, and then it's called S underscore Emboss Distort. You can use glass. You can use shiny. You can use uh, this one, or actually not not this one, but it's called Emboss Distort. That's the one we're using. So basically, the whole thing, the whole effect is is pretty much this effect. So I drag it onto my clip, and that's basically the whole effect. You, he changes. He obviously messes with the settings a little bit to make it look good, but that's basically it. Now, the thing is with Cole Bennett though, he uses his own like twist to it. So I'll show you um, all like the different variations I've seen from him. So the first one was in. I, f I think Smoke Perp's video, where it was kind of like a triangle and only some parts look like it. So, I'll show you that. So, what you want to do is go to the right, go to the timeline right, right click, click insert new video track. Then you want to click your clip here. You want to hold control on your keyboard, drag it up, copy it. And then you want to get your effect here and put it on the top layer. And then, just wait, we're not done. Um, then you want to go to Pan and Crop here, to the top layer click mask and then he did a simple triangle mask so it's usually good if it like covers a little bit of your subject so if I do this triangle mask you see it kind of it already looks like that and it pretty much looks like what he did so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this first keyframe so it's always like this and then you can also with this you can go a few keyframes forward from the position and you can move it or you can let me click this and you can move the pan and crop and it'll move center or you can make it bigger and then move it and it'll basically do that now I, I don't recommend making it bigger because it kind of distorts it too much but if you keep it the same size but you move it a little bit then you should be fine now the other thing he did is he um, in the ski mask video here that's the glitch effect I forgot to unmask it hold on now what he did in the ski mask video is he masked out the person and he kind of did like the ghost effect I showed you guys if you guys watched the tutorial he did the ghost effect but he put emboss on all of them so if I mask him out right and go let me delete all and then I quickly mask him out and then I drag the, the emboss on it then wait my mask isn't working hold on Okay, that's why. Okay. And then I put the emboss on the first clip. That's what it does. Now let me mess with the settings a little bit. Bring the brightness up. Always bring the brightness up because it kind of does some weird stuff. Let me bring this down. Yeah, kind of like, I like it like that. And then what he did it was just right click on the timeline, insert video track, and then copy this a few more times. I'm gonna go to pan and crop on the first one, position, and you wanna move it to the side. Pan and crop on the second one, position, move this to the opposite side, or wherever. Pan and crop on the third one position let's go move this um i'm gonna move this up here 
and that's basically it um, for see a make sure it's not over the whole thing you have to do it on the parts that actually look good because I obviously because it won't work like this because um, I only cropped this like frame out so it's only this frame is only cropped not these other frames where it moves so make sure you have to carp out you have to mask out every frame so what I'm saying is right here's my mask correct or right here actually here's my mask correct this frame is different than this frame so you see he's out my mask so you're gonna have to remask him every frame you want to get it really smooth see he mo he's moved out of the mask so if I just like move the mask a little bit to this way then you see right here all of it's there but I recommend you do all your masking first for every keyframe and then duplicating the layers or else you'll get like me and you have to mask out all of them okay so the next one he did was on smug perps video and he basically just did the effect so I drag on the effect bring the brightness up a little bit um, distort amount let's go inward a little bit but what he did oh no was it trippy red oh no not trippy red was it Oh no, it was Ski Mask though. So what he did was, um, he did something. He did, what is a crop? Oh. Oh, okay, so he, okay, so you come down here, right? Sorry, I forgot about that, what he did. So you fix your settings, whatever, you fix your brightness. He came down here, and he pretty much moved this crop left, crop right, top, bottom. First time he did it, he did crop bottom. Oh no, he did crop, yeah, crop bottom, and then it moved, yeah, right? and then he did crop left, and then this moved, and I think, I don't know, it's pretty a cool effect, you should try it, but I think, um, yeah, that's basically it for his distorting effects. He also did it on his face most of the time for our slump, for slump god, so what he did, he just, he masked out his face, put it on, and then moved it, so let me do it for basically this one again so I only have one video clip right click mask I'm gonna mask him out right there we go hold control move up go to the bottom one uncheck the mask click emboss Bring the brightness up a little bit. I'm gonna bring the threshold up because that kind of looks ugly. Distort. Let's go bring that down. There you go. And what he did is kind of the same thing I showed in the ghost effect video. He moved this position to the right. So imagine this is Slump God's face right here, and this is the original. So he masked out Slump God's face, he put the effect on it, and then he moved it down, I think, actually. And then, during the video, because it was kind of a still video, he moved this back up to the original, so default. So, moved this back up to default, and then he faded it as well. So, let me cut this clip right here, and then fade it. So, that's not my effect. Okay, so it starts right here. Let me, it faded too early. So you went like this. So, and that's basically what he did, but he didn't fade it as much that fast. So you see him right here. Mm, boom. Right? And that's basically all his distortion effects for this type of distortion. Alright, cool. Leave a like and comment and subscribe if you want to, or leave a like and comment. That's all I really want. So, peace out later. Fast tutorial. Alright, cool. Bye.